Yo, 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 this is Chris Blair and I'm just sitting here um, waiting for someone. So, I, you know, I thought while I'm here, here waiting for someone in this place to open, I'd shoot a quick video for you guys because I uh, just posted this in a, in a Facebook group and I was just thinking about, um, yeah, I mean, it's amazing. Most people talk about the life cycle of their products is about, you know, a few months the most. If they're lucky, they can go maybe half a year, right? Um, a lot of people don't even go go a month. By the way, they, their product dies on them in a month because um, they don't really know how to properly uh, keep the product going. But I'm currently have three products um, in my beer store that I've been selling now for. Well, not one was not quite 18 months. The other two are 18 months. Okay, so and these are some of the strategies I use to keep them selling over and over and over and over and over again. And guys, this is the key thing, guys, because think about this, right? How much harder is it to find a winner than it is to try to keep the current winners going, okay? It's infinitely harder to find a new winner. And I'll tell you guys, I mean, even even me, I mean, as I, I'm a master of my niche. I know my niche really well. I, I, I mean, I really know my niche. I'm, I live in it, I know it, and I, I still sometimes struggle to get new winners, okay? So, you need to be able to take your current winners and just run them evergreen for a very long time that is the key to have a sustainable business right especially if you're using paid advertising right obviously other things like SEO and things you can do help but we're talking about paid advertising on Facebook how do you make that sustainable okay with winning products and today I'm gonna I'm gonna give you five strategies that I use okay five tips that I use that absolutely work who wants to know these tips out of curiosity and at least get one person in the comment they want to know these tips okay all right, we got about only got four or five people, five people on, so it's a very small call right now. All right, cool. So here we go. We're gonna sh go ahead and after you know after I give these tips, I can take a few questions. So if you have any questions, go ahead and and write them in the uh, chat. I'll, I'll we'll answer them. Okay, five ways you can take your products and just keep running them all over, over and over and over again. And actually, there's more than this, but I just want to cover these five on this call today. Okay. Um, one number one, take the same winning image and repost it. Okay, for some reason, I don't know why, posts seem to have a life cycle. At some point, Facebook, um, if you're running a, a post for a long time and you're running a good amount of traffic to it, say 500 to $1,500 $1, a day, right, which I often do to one post, um, if I'm running that kind of traffic then, or even a few hundred dollars a day, and I keep running that consistently for a, a good period of time, month, two, three, or four months, for some reason, it just goes flat. I, I don't know why, it just does. I think Facebook uh, decides that, hey, look, enough's enough for this post. Um, Facebook loves new, fresh content. So I take the exact same winning image and I just repost it. And suddenly, it's a new post in Facebook eyes. And it works. And guys, I've had one ad image. I'm not going to say which one it is. But I have posted that thing now five times. Okay? And every time I post it, it works. So it's a mistake to assume just because that image didn't stop working on the current post then it won't work again on a new post because it will. Facebook chooses new content. Now, guys, if you say, well, I don't want to repost it because what about all the social proof? Social proof my ass. Excuse my language. I'm sorry. I, I really wanted to say that straight out. That's completely so, so, such a small factor. And guys, you can build up social proof all over again on a new post very quickly. If it's a, if it's a winning product, winning image for that ad, and you know your targets, in a day or two, you've got the, th the thousand plus shares anyway. You've got the social proof you need. So, I mean, it's not worth to worry about that at all. Number two, test out new images, guys. Um, I just took one of my winning products and I just started, you know what, this image I've been running a lot, I've been running that image over and over and over and again, and, and it's, now it's starting to, to die, okay? I've done posted that thing five times. So let's test out some new images. So I took some new images of of my that winning product and I split tested four images uh, late last week and one was a clear winner and now I'm driving traffic to that winner and guess what sales are, are, are starting to go again really good and profit is good okay so what's happened there is by using different images it appeals to different people who for some reason didn't like the other image but like this one and 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 even though it's the exact same product images have a different effect on people okay and then the other thing is this I was running some of these other images that were successful for a long time, so there was a kind of a banner blindness to them. So by switching up the image, suddenly, bang, I'm back in business. So 
That's a huge thing to do. So switch up and test new images. Um, now next, keep pushing the envelope on targets, guys. Most people don't, I mean, I've done some targeting videos and in my course I've got about four different videos on targeting, guys. Most people don't even come close to pushing the envelope on what they can do for targeting, guys. I mean, I've got about, let's see, between the combined videos in my course, I've got, in my beta course, I probably got about an hour and a half of training just on targeting. It's over four different videos, guys. So, I mean, that tells you that you're not even coming close to pushing the envelope on targeting. If, if you really sit down and think about it and you, and you apply the, some of the lessons I've talked about in these previous videos, um, if you apply what's in my course, right, there are tons of targets you can go after. Okay. Um, Okay, now next, this is really important, guys. Um, number four, this requires you to have a custom audience for your, your thing, and I should have mentioned this in the beginning of the video. Every single winning product I have, I create a custom audience for it, for sure. Once the thing gets rolling, once I, you know, about a week or so of sales, this thing's clearly gonna, looks like it's going, I absolutely create a custom audi audience, audience for it. I mean, no matter what, I do, okay? The reason why is, because so here's what you can do with these custom audiences. Number one is you can start to create lookalikes based on that custom audience. So once you get, say, four, five, 6,000 visitors to that specific page for that custom audience, now you've got enough data for Facebook to go in and create lookalikes. And you can create 1%, 2%, 3%, 4%, 5%, five, all the way up to 10% over every single country you're targeting, right? So that, say you think you've got 10 audiences in the United States, 10 audiences in Canada, and then however many countries you're targeting, right? Suddenly you can get 30, 40, 50, 60 audiences and, and so on and so forth. So it's powerful. But then here's another cool thing, and, and this a lot of people don't do this, audience insights, guys. Go into audience insights. Once you've got enough visitors on that specific page, put that page in, right, as a target audience insights, and then go to page likes. Facebook will suggest targets. Now, it's not, obviously not going to suggest as many targets as it would on a regular interest. It's got a lot more data, but still it will. And then what you do is you start going after those targets. And when you find one that's working, you go back and take that target and put it back in audience insights, and then suddenly you suggest other targets. So, guys, there's so much stuff you can do for targeting. People don't even think deeply enough about it. Anyway, so the, if you use those methods, those five methods like that, you guys can have products selling for months and months and months. I do, all the time. So anyway, cheers, I'm um, interested in my beta course. It's actually launched in October. I've got a JV manager working with me on that one. So we're launching in October. So you can get in, in this month for the beta price, still. And, or you want my coaching, private message me and I'll see you in the next video. I don't really have time for questions now. Actually, I gotta run. So, sorry about that, guys. Cheers, I'll see you in the next video.